All right. Well, today we're going to make a electric fence for repelling slugs. What you need is a little bit of wire with two clamps on it that will connect the electronics to the wire. Of course, a battery. I'm using here 9 volts. Battery clip with wires. A button switch. One LED, a resistor, which has one kilo ohm of resistance, a small LED clip, so it looks a little nicer, a box for fitting all the electronics in, and the battery. This is a, I don't know what's called in English, it's a box for making junctions on your wiring in the house. And you have here two holes for screwing it somewhere on. And of course you need some basic equipment like tires, soldering equipment, some cable stripper. That's it. We'll start by drilling uh, two holes into the lid of the box here and here. For the one for the LED and the other one for the button. Now um, I'll go and drill the holes and then talk to you in a couple minutes. Now how does it work? Well, first of all, let's put down the circuit. We have the battery, a resistor, one clamp, the other clamp, the LED, there is ground, and then of course we do have the button switch right here. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And that is one kilo ohm, and those two clamps go onto a wire that's around the raised bed. Now this switch is only used for checking if there's still enough power on the battery. So if you press the switch then the LED will come on and you know that there's still enough power. Also you will see if there's a short circuit on the clamps or on the wire the LED will come on and will tell you okay something's wrong and you can check. All right, welcome back. Now we have the holes. Let's put in first the button. Unscrew the nut and keep the split washer on there. That keeps it uh, a little bit better inside the housing. Uh, let's put that in. It's a little bit tight, the hole, but it does work great. All right. Put the washer back on. Ah, the nut, nut, sorry. I'll get some pliers and then tighten this up. You need to make sure that the pins are aligned in the same direction or towards the upper hole because there will be the LED going in afterwards. Now I need some pliers and then let's tighten this up. So let's tighten this a little bit up. Make sure that the orientation of the pins is still correct. It's not really that important but it makes soldering later on easier. Okay, I think that should do. It's tight enough. Let's put the LED in. First the clip. You can leave away the clip, it just looks nicer. And since I have it laying around, I thought I'll just use it. And then put the LED in from back. Okay. And the orientation of the pins doesn't really matter. You can make it 
the smaller one towards the button or the longer one. It just is important later on when soldering. Let's see. Yeah, this is not any fancy equipment I'm using, it's just simple soldering iron with some tin. Let's get started. I'll first put on some of the tin onto the LED pin, the short one. That helps helps later soldering on the resistor. And also I'll put some on the pin of the button. Okay. Now this resistor needs to go in here, right there. Okay, we got this far now. As you can see here, the resistor is in between the button and the LED. And now we need to solder on the battery clip and the two clamps. The two clamps also need to go through the housing, so I need to bore a hole through here. Because that's going on like this and I'd like to have the wires come out here. Now remember when using a soldering iron and doing soldering please take precautions. The iron is hot and you can have severe burnings on your fingers and also anywhere else on your body. Also please take care that when packing away make sure that the soldering iron is cooled down fully and nothing can start burning or smoldering. Also take precautions for your table that if the soldering iron accidentally falls onto the table or something other that could burn that you take care that this does not happen. Just put something underneath that cannot burn or if it gets a little bit burned it doesn't matter. Okay? So I'm not liable for any fault you're doing with that. You're doing this at your own risk. Okay, hole inside, cable needs to go through the hole. So first we'll split that in half. Just put it together and then you get at the at the bend. You just cut it. That's it. Put it through the hole. Okay, pull it through. Leave some out here. Okay, and then we also need to strip that a little because one of that cable, the black one for ground, will go here as well. Okay, so it looks like this now. I connected the black cable of the clip, the battery clip, to one of the clamps. The other one is open and the other, the red one the red cable of the battery clip is open. So what we need to do now is solder this to the open side of the button. Solder that one here onto the button where the resistor is at. And the red one goes now to the long pin of the LED. Alright, let's see what we have here. Now we have the red one connected to the long pin of the LED. 
the resistor going in between the short pin of the LED to the button and also one of those connected to it. Then we have on the other side of the button ground going to the battery and another clamp here. Now if you connect the battery everything should work. Let's see. And if we press the button, the LED is supposed to come on. There it is. It does work. Now just put the battery inside here. And you can basically close that. However, we still need to make a small a zip tie around those two cables that they get, do not get torn out. And then we'll talk to you in the next part when we set it up on the raised beds.